little babe. Yeehaw! <laughs> we made it to Tennessee. I am really already feeling the southern charm. I am loving the vibe down here in Franklin. My name is Lindy Sear. And my name is Nick Sear, and we're looking for our dream home in Middle Tennessee. I'm so excited we're finally here. Tennessee is best known for its capital, centrally located Nashville, the heart of the country music scene. With the long-running Grand Ole Opry, the Country Music Hall of Fame, and a legendary stretch of honky tonks and dance halls. But just a 30-minute drive south of the city, you'll find the charming town of Franklin, with an eclectic mix of longtime residents and out-of-state newcomers. Consistently named one of the top 10 safest places to live in America, people from all over the U.S. are moving to Franklin with over 70% of them from California alone. I think it would be amazing to find a house out in the country so we can enjoy country living, but close enough that we can explore and have our fun in Nashville. Franklin boasts some amazing vineyards, whiskey distilleries, and a quintessential downtown Main Street with many independent shops and plenty of Americana. And all of this makes for a booming local economy, enticing Fortune 500 companies to move their headquarters here. I'm just really excited to see what this new adventure has in store for our family. And the demand for this highly desirable area is influencing the real estate market. The median home sale price, 815000 On average, homes are selling for 5% above listing price and going into contract in less than two weeks. So Nick and Lindy, California natives themselves, have their work cut out for them to find their dream home in this hot market. They're hoping to trade the Cali congestion for some wide open spaces and simple country living full of outdoor adventure for their kids. I'm actually excited to like actually look at houses. I've never seen this area. So we are currently living in Tehachapi, California. I think the reason we've decided to move from California to Middle Tennessee is the political climate of California was no longer in line with what our family values are anymore. And so that's why we really started thinking about where we need to go to find something that's a little more suitable for us. I love the idea of country living. Mm -hmm. It's a slower pace, very traditional. Wow, this property is really beautiful. Wow, look at this place, guys. This is the vaulted ceiling house. We are in Eagleville, Tennessee, just about 30 minutes outside of Franklin. It's gorgeous. It really is picturesque. We are Kyle and Casey Wallace, and we run a real estate team out of Franklin, Tennessee, called Wallace Group. We're a husband and wife duo, and we have been married for 12 years, together in real estate for seven years. So as far as inventory goes in the local Middle Tennessee market, it is slim pickings. We're finding houses go on the market, and within a weekend, there are multiple offers on those properties. Wow, look at this place. This is just really show-stopping. has amazing curb appeal. Yeah, look at the view of the pond. It's gorgeous. This house is a little over 4,400 square feet, four bedrooms, four and a half bath, and it sits on a very flat, a little over six and a half acres. It's listed at about 1.9 million. It's a beautiful property. That is quite a ways over budget. I do love how they've mixed the exterior finishes though, the brick, the stone, the batten board. It's really beautiful. Should we go check it out? Let's do it. Let's do it. Wow. This is stunning. Look at the vaulted ceilings. This is a great room. A great room. I love this open space. This is gonna be great for entertaining our family. Yeah, this is great. Huge center island, everybody can just gather around. So we're high school sweethearts. We've been married going on 16 years in July. We really started our lives together as young adults. And I went to college. Nick went straight to work. Right after Lindy and I got married, we moved into a small little apartment together. I think our rent was $800 a month. It was two bedrooms, very small. I think at that point I was just getting started in construction and Lindy was a waitress. Mm -hmm. And for me, one of the hardest times getting to where we are now was that master's degree. I was working, I was doing an internship, I was doing classes, Nick was working full time. We had a mortgage and a car payment and credit card bills and trying to make things work. And I would say that was a very, very challenging time for us. But however, it was an absolute requirement and a stepping stone to get to where we are now. 
So I am currently a speech language pathologist and I work for a school district. I work for Aspen Builders Incorporated. I'm vice president. We specialize in commercial construction. It's put us in a position where we're at now where we can come out here and truly look for our dream home. I feel like the kitchen really is the heart of the home and this is a beautiful, beautiful feature here. Light, bright, big, open, I think it's great. These appliances are amazing. Look at this fancy coffee machine. I know. <laughs> That's your deal, oh, I right? I love my coffee. Nick, my favorite part. Why don't you take a look right around the corner? Bourbon and whiskey oh, collection. Wow. Little bar. Yeah. Nick, I think you could fill those shelves with a little bit of Tennessee whiskey or some Kentucky bourbon. Absolutely. I think the kitchen can be your heart of the home, and this can be my heart of the home right here. <laughs> I like it. I love it. And here we have the formal dining room. Plenty of space for a large family. The natural lighting in this home is really a great feature. And you have the wraparound porches. It just really gives it a good, homey Tennessee feel. It does. This view is amazing. And that pond is fully stocked, too. Wow. Yeah. Is it big enough for a jet ski? Probably not for a jet ski, <laughs> but I think you could enjoy some good fishing out there with the boys. Absolutely. I think the kids would love that. Well, let's go look at the primary bedroom. Vaulted ceilings in the bedroom. This bedroom definitely has some wow factor. This to is it. an impressive bedroom. Yeah, this is really beautiful. And the French doors in the back goes right out to the patio. It really just opens everything up. You got a great view from every angle. Lots of windows. We definitely need to put blinds or something on the windows, though. All the neighbors would have a nice view. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a peek at the bathroom. Wow, this bathroom is beautiful. Wow, I love the shower. Look at the light in the niche. It's awesome. Beautiful. This is great, this bathtub. Pour a glass of wine. Look at that beautiful view. Watch TV, right? Right. We have grown our family to three. So we have Mason, who's 14. Um, we have Brady, our middle son. And then we have our daughter, Henley. She's only eight years old, but she definitely runs the show. What I love about my wife is her heart. She's the most giving person that I know. She will do anything for anybody. She'll give somebody the shirt off her back. There really is so many things that I admire and love about my husband. He is an amazing provider. He is always keeping his family at the front of the list and he makes sure that we're safe and he's really just the biggest support for us. And I love him. He's a good guy. I love you too. You're a good guy. So upstairs, there are two bedrooms and an office. This bedroom is huge. Full bathroom, walk-in closets. You have a really special place for a kid to have a bedroom. And I love that there's one bedroom and bathroom here, and then on the other side, there's another bedroom and bathroom over there as well. This really is a total kid zone upstairs. This is so nice. So let's maybe check outside. Yeah, I'm excited to see yeah. outside. Let's All do right. it. 